So there's this guy, Al Horford, who plays for the Celtics. He used to play for the Atlanta... Sellies. For the Sellies. He used to play for the Atlanta Hawks. This year, we were making a big... Uh, we want to try to get Kevin Durant, and then we couldn't. So then evidently, all the money that we were going to give him, Durant, we gave three quarters of it to this guy, Al Horford. Gave him like $130 fucking million dollars over four years or something crazy like that. Um, maybe a little less than that. Came out to about $28 million a year. So listen to this shit. So this fucking guy... His wife has a kid, right? Mm-hmm. Has a daughter, so he misses a game. Mm-hmm. And some fans bitched about it on, like, uh, social media, and it actually became, like, a story. He sat out a game because he wanted to go to his daughter's birthday, like, yeah. birthday party? and then a couple douchebags are like, no, nah, what the fuck? They're paying you all that money. Why don't you fucking put the ball in the hoop? And then Aww. the media picked up on it, and then he actually, he actually had to comment on Twitter nerds. And there was, like, one sports show that brought it up. Are his priorities in shape? Hmm. What are you going to do, Nia, if I don't show up? You know, if I'm at the Rose Bowl hammered mm. and you give birth or I'm, I'm We've I'm already discussed like that, so don't even joke about huh? that. Hammered. We've already discussed the, the, the plan for the Rose Bowl. Can I tell you something, if Nia? If I haven't given Even birth. if I walked into the delivery room <laughs> blind drunk, you can't, you you're can't do that. still going to be totally fine. Because everybody doing all the heavy lifting is there. Like I, I, I'm, I shouldn't even be there. I don't understand why you keep trying to like evade any kind of like role of being like my support and comfort, my my emotional support. Yeah, you don't even stand in the room when I get my teeth cleaned. <laughs> That's a little bit different, don't you think? Yeah. What if they were removing a tooth? Would you stand there and hold oh, my fucking Bill, hand? You know for goddamn sure that is not the same thing. Why are you even bringing that up? Because it's, just, it's fucking bullshit that the guy has to be in there. And every guy I talk to, nine out of ten of them go, yeah, it's bullshit. Just stay north of the fucking blanket. It, it keeps him happy. You yeah, just want to, there you to just... emotionally support me. And when we went to the class the other day and you watched the birthing story, you leaned over to me and you were like, oh, I understand now. I understand why no when he was walking with her walking with her in the halls i understood that being in there for the procedure i completely don't understand and i just think that that is one of those things that it's just one of those it's that fucking it's that thing that you guys do and rub my like rub my back and be like you got this you're good just breathe like you're okay yeah all that kind of it's like it's just like every time i walk out the fucking door and i got all this shit to do you always throw a couple more things. Hey, go get the dry cleaning. Can you go do this? Can you go do that? And yet you're dumping, you're, you're fucking, you're taking the, it off of oh, your pile. Oh, can you take the dog to the vet, actually? 